Hi everyone, I'm Tim Steinhauer, Superintendent of the Mount Lebanon School District. These are unusual times. Everyone is a teacher. There's a polar vortex in May. We have become our own barbers and we all wear face masks even though it's not Halloween. There's nothing new usual about the now. I know that you're giving it your best. And on those days that it seems like nothing is going right, the days when you are just tired, a little worn down or drained, you still manage to push forward. Thank you. Last week, I sent you a note about the district's recovery team. Our recovery team has one mission, to prepare for the return of our students and staff. We know that the actions we take right now will determine our outcomes. We need to think strategically, act purposefully, and care deeply. Our recovery team is made up of administrators, principals, teachers, counselors, parents, students, school board members, and school psychologists. They are charged with leading us to a safe, effective, and efficient return. And although there is no perfect playbook, no perfect framework, I want to assure you that all of our planning will keep two issues at the forefront, safety and health. The safety and health of both our students and staff. As a team, we have to follow the guidance and lead of our experts, the scientists, the doctors, the local and state public health officials, the state education officials, and the governor. As always, we are committed to accurate, open, and consistent communication. We will be sure to keep you informed all along the way. We still have many great challenges ahead. For me, the idea that we will emerge stronger from this experience inspires and energizes me to work hard every day. And I know that our team shares this same motivation. This isn't over yet. We have to stay steadfast and determined, but the end is just around the corner. Mount Lebanon has a long tradition of pulling together and rising to meet major challenges with optimism and determination. The crisis will pass. We will get through this together and be a more caring, compassionate, and stronger community. So I've been holding these juggling balls the whole time. You're probably waiting for me to juggle them, so get ready. Well, the truth is I really can't juggle all the balls at once, at least not very well. No one person can do everything. Great ideas don't typically come from lone geniuses. I know that diverse perspectives lead to thoughtful solutions and a committed team eases the workload. If my goal is to keep all these juggling balls in the air, I'll need help and I'll need your help. We as a community must work together and help each other navigate this critical time of need. Working together, we can do this and do this well. So each morning I end my time with students and families using this short and simple exercise. It's about self-care. And I'd like to end my message to you the same way. So I like to put my hand on my heart and say, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be peaceful.